Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're all well. Um, I um, love fragrances and I love smells, uh, beautiful smells and everything nice and smelly and I also love men's fragrances and I decided today that I'm gonna review about my most favorite um, sexy fragrances for men. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Um, if you like my video you can give me a thumbs up, you can comment, comment down below and you can subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel so um today i want to start with uh, my very very favorite fragrance and it's jean paul gaultier um by um i mean ultra male jean paul gaultier um it's a very sexy fragrance i uh, love this fragrance so much i bought it for <laughs> i bought it for myself um, I'm gonna spray it down for you. Oops, <laughs> it's just uh, came up. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. Oh my god, this is um, such a gorgeous fragrance. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's masculine, but sweet masculine, um, and very seductive, very sexy. If um, Anyone, if this bottle <laughs> wasn't like it is, it could be as well as unisex. I love it so much, so I actually sprayed it on myself a few times. I would say this fragrance is like for clubbing and uh, for going out. It's like a magnet for girls. It's not very much for office or business um, men. Um, it's quite, it's quite fruity, um, very sexy, seductive. It's got vanilla in it, patchouli, clary sage. Um, it's got mint in it, lavender. It's quite uh, long lasting. It's very long lasting. It was launched in 2015. That's five years ago. Um, I really, really like this one. So, so that's uh, Ultra Male by uh, Jean Paul Gaultier my favorite one on number one let's move on to the next one the next one is Versace pour Homme by Versace it's a very light crispy citrusy almost aquatic beautiful fragrance it's perfect for summer and for spring you can wear it all year round, but it's because it's not too heavy and it's out the toilet. Um, it's not gonna last too long, and it's, I would say it's not very suitable for the evenings. It's more for um, the daytime in summer and spring. It's um, very affordable price-wise. Um, if you don't want to pay too much money for other very much, much, much more expensive designer fragrances I uh, really recommend this one this is like my favorite one of like like all the time like <laughs> of all times like my really really favorite one this is such a light beautiful bright citrusy aquatic fragrance it's very sexy um, it's it's good for a date as well if you want to go on a date um, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance at all you just cannot go wrong with this it's uh, not offensive um, it's very it's not too much in your face it's just very light very light fragrance it's like after the shower it's been very iconic it's been there for a very long time probably about I don't know about 15 years or something and it's really nice yeah go for it if you like it then um, I'm gonna mention another fragrances. I'm gonna mention another fragrances that I like that I smell in the shop or on the men, and I absolutely love them, but I don't own them. So um, I'm just gonna mention them. So next one will be Angel Men Pure Mild Creation. It's very sweet, warm, aromatic fragrance. It's very long lasting. It's so, so, so nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think um, people just love it everywhere you go with this. Uh, it's more suitable for um, winter. It's slightly, it's quite strong, so it's a bit heavier. I generally don't like very strong fragrances, but 
um, on this one I don't mind because it's just so nice, it's just beautiful fragrance. It's done by Thierry Mugler. It's suitable for winter, it's not very suitable for summer um, or spring because it's quite heavy and it's quite strong. It's very like whiskey, caramel, sweet, aromatic, balsamic. It's absolutely gorgeous fragrance, so I recommend this one as well. I absolutely love it, I love it, I love this one. Next one will be Heritage by Guerlain. It's all the perfume and all the toilet, but I think I prefer more of the perfume. This fragrance has got a little bit of story for me. I was uh, in the shop and I was smelling fragrances for women and this, fra this fragrance was there just by any chance and I smelled it and I was like, from all the fragrances for women, I actually went for this one and I thought, oh my god, this one is gorgeous, like heaven, absolutely gorgeous, aromatic and I wrote it on a piece of paper which one it is. Then I went home, I um, searched about this fragrance and all I seen like on YouTube channels and reviews and everywhere all I've seen was men 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 so I thought what the heck like why is it all for men and then I realized it's actually for men not for women but this fragrance also could be just unisex as well because it's so aromatic and warm and sweet and spicy and um, I was gonna buy it for myself actually but it's very masculine at the same time so don't worry it's you you're not gonna smell like a woman at all but it's absolutely it's like I would probably even put it on number one but I don't own it or anything but I, it's just so gorgeous absolutely gorgeous fragrance it lasts it lasts for a very long time and um, it's been there for a few years it's been um, released in 1992 so it's very old fragrance oldie but goodie and um, there is a patchouli amber it's very spicy bergamot clary sage sandalwood it's very nice it's very aromatic so that's my number three tip for you guys i love it it's very sexy it's very nice my next one is uh, gucci by gucci for ome it was released in 2008 it's also quite good i'm um, an old one I came across to this one by chance, just smelling it in the shop. I didn't smell it before actually, and uh, I really like it. It was uh, nice, spicy, woody, a bit like tobacco, like leather. Um, I would uh, very masculine, quite masculine, but I'm um, not overpowering. Uh, so I like that because I don't like over too overpowering fragrances. Um, I like it just very quite mild or not too much in your face, not non-offensive like for many fragrances. It's balsamic, um, you can wear it all year round and um, I think mostly winter or fall because it's a bit spicy and warm and a bit heavier so it, it may not be suitable for summer um, or maybe if you wear it in the evening in the summer, yeah, it would be great but it's really gorgeous and sexy fragrance and very manly, very mascul masculine as well. It's not like fresh but it's more like powdery and balsamic and warm and spicy. It's got in it leather, patchouli, amber. Uh, my next favorite fragrance will be Blue de Chanel. It's absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I smelled it on uh, my friend and it was like, woo, I was like, what is this? <laughs> so um, it was Blue de Chanel from Chanel and it's, um, it's quite sporty masculine fragrance but I would say also quite fresh it's not too heavy it's quite nice and classic one um, I would say this one you can wear for um, office work like for businessmen and all that and it's uh, very nice masculine quite strong and it's very long-lasting I think so um, I can recommend this one as well I really like this one my next one number seven is Dylan Blue by Versace um, it's an uh, absolutely gorgeous fragrance. When I smelled it first time, I thought, oh my god, I love it. It's so sexy, it's very long-lasting. Um, you can tell by the bottle, it's um, like in a blue bottle, it's almost like a sea, like the ocean. It's very fresh. It's very fresh, spicy, balsamic, aquatic. You can tell by the bottle, you know, blue bottle. Um, woody, musky, there is amber in it, so it's a bit sweet as well, it's got in it everything that I like, it's sweet, it's fresh, it's not too heavy, it's um, 
the, the, there's tonka bean which I like so much and there is amber it's a bit yeah aquatic it's fresh it's like out of the shower it's very sexy it was made in 2016 so it's um, probably like four years old so it's not too old this one and I really really like it yeah that's my discovery recent discovery now there is another one that I really like that's number eight um, it's by uh, Dior it's Dior Homme um, there is a new release now in 2020 and first release was 2011 so nine years later they released a new one and it seems like everybody seems to like um, the old one more than the new one but to me um, I love them both I absolutely love them it's also like inoffensive very nice sweet aromatic balsamic woody musky just magical just really nice very fresh very just nice and um, the uh, actor that plays uh, in advert for it is Robert Pattinson so it's very recognizable this one um, so I like them both I don't know why people don't like this one so much I don't know if it doesn't last the, the, the new release I don't know if it doesn't last so long or I don't know why but I really like this I really like this it's just a very nice um, just inoffensive you know for everyday wear I just really like this one I would even buy it for myself I think <laughs> just a very nice one yeah my next one is Chanel Allure on my Sport Extreme. It was released in 2012. It's um, similar to Versace Pour Homme, the one I mentioned on number two. Um, it's got similar vibe, but it's probably slightly stronger, but it's also like for sporty men. Uh, obviously, it's got it in the name, sport, so you can wear it to the gym. Um, yeah, if you do sports, it's very fresh, aquatic, citrusy, aromatic, balsamic. It's got tonka bean in it, mint, sage, pepper. And this is also like very nice balsamic for nose. It's very nice and sexy and masculine at the same time. Yeah. So that was number nine, and then last one on number ten, we've got. Something unusual, you can't get any everywhere and I recently discovered it in uh, Next, in the shop Next in um, England. Uh, you cannot probably buy it in USA or anywhere else much, that's why I put it on the last place because it's probably not so well known. But in England uh, you can um, go and check it out, um, Next fragrances are really really nice. And this one is called Ice White by uh, Next. It's um, in a white bottle. It's um, also, I would say, very light, crispy, fresh, bright fragrance. You can wear it to gym as well. And it's just so fresh, citrusy and aquatic. And that's what I like in fragrances. It's inoffensive and masculine at the same time. So you can go and check it out. And the prices with, um, in the next shop are also like very affordable. If you don't want to spend too much money for um, more expensive um, fragrances and designer fragrances like Chanel or Dior you can go um, to check it out in um, next and you can I guarantee you can buy you can get some fragrance there that you will like it's only one of them they've got loads of choice the other one would be signature that's called uh, or that's also a very nice one and they've got loads of nice ones but like different some of them they are very warm and spicy they're also very nice, long-lasting and very good price, so I recommend to check um, check out the next. Um, so that's my tip for you guys. Um, so I think uh, that's um, all uh, my favorite sexy fragrances of men. I think I've covered them all now. And um, I don't know if I should mention something that I don't really like and why. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mention one one fragrance that I don't actually like on men so much and I've smelled it on three clients I didn't know what it is and I've, uh, every single one of them all three clients said it's the same one and it was Savage so to me Savage it's no 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 uh, that's uh, from Dior and um, it's very interesting that both of the guys all of the guys um, I asked uh, they were they were um, same fragrance and I didn't like it so before I even knew what it is 
so it's the Stella Ash, it's not my favorite one at all. It's also like, it's not very unique, obviously, I already asked three guys and then um, they uh, said it's the same uh, fragrance and I didn't like it, exactly the same one. I think it's because it's so strong and um, just very, just too much um, of masculinity for me probably, but I just find it a little bit like too much in the face. So just something that I don't really like, uh, but um, obviously loads of people will like it, uh, loads of people buy it, but it's just because everybody wears it now, it's not so unique anymore as well, so just, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, I think that's pretty much everything now that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, thank you very much for watching um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video you can give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe uh, to my channel, hit that notification button and you can leave me comments down below what is your favorite fragrance. I'll, I'll go and check it out. I would like to know what is your favorite fragrance and uh, yeah, happy smelling! And thank you very much, see you in the next video, bye!